Okay, what we have here is the DC commentator that Ed Gray was using, something similar. I don't know exactly what his looked like. I don't never seen a picture, I've only seen the uh, patent. Uh, this, we've joined the motor and the commentator with uh, some shrink wrap, three different sizes. We left a little bit of gap between the shafts, so <clears throat> when we heat it up and shrink, there'd be a little bit of a, a ring around it. We could put a piece of string to make it tight to help keep that shrink wrap from moving back and forth. The last time we tried this, the shrink wrap would, would get drawn into the engine, uh, the motor, for some reason. Uh, the power supply for the motor it's running about the minimum six volts we're feeding it about uh, 15 volts here Let's see if we can get a little over 15 volts DC uh, it's about two amps that this light bulb is drawing right here and it shows about Three volts DC. In fact, let me see if we can get AC in here also. Yeah, that's what it's showing AC. So this thing produces AC and DC. And that's the uh, frequency right here. We're going to turn the frequency up, or we're going to yeah turn the uh, the RPM up on the motor. It's about 14 some volts. You can see the uh, frequency went up, and the uh, voltage went down. That's a DC voltage. Light got a little dimmer, and we've got more waveforms up here. We're going to slow it on down. You can see the waveforms going to drop. There we go. Bigger duty cycle. Slower it goes. So there you have it.